Hey guys, we are talking transformations today, which is different ways a shape can move in the coordinate plane. Now in this video, we are specifically talking about rotations, but I will link a playlist in the corner if you are needing different transformations or other rotation examples, okay? So to do this rotation, we want to rotate this shape 90 degrees clockwise about the origin, okay? In order to do this, for this example, we are going to use these rules. Now, this isn't the only way you could do this problem, and I will link a video that shows you two other ways you could do this. And it also explains why these rules work, because I don't love to just like give you rules and be like, just trust me. So <laughs> if you wanna see how why these work, go ahead and watch that. Okay, so all I need to do is figure out my original coordinates, then we are rotating the shape 90 degrees clockwise. So when I rotate 90 degrees clockwise, whatever my original point was, my X, Y, I am going to switch those numbers and change X's sign. Does that sound crazy? Okay, well, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna put that here as a reminder to myself. We are switching X and Y and changing X's sign. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is figure out what all of these points are. Okay, so those are all the points on my original triangle. And now to figure out my rotated triangle, I am just going to switch X and Y and change X's sign. So I'm going to write the Y first, negative one, and instead of a negative seven, it's gonna be a positive seven, okay? Again, I'm gonna switch these, so the Y is first, negative three, and I'm going to make the negative two positive. Okay, switch these guys, so it's negative eight, and make the nine positive. All right, now I always kind of like to stop and think, okay, if I'm rotating at 90 degrees, I'm thinking it should end up in this quadrant, right? So if it doesn't end up there, I'm gonna need to check my work, right? So let's go ahead and plot these points. All right, and then connect our dots. And there we go. Does that look like I took that triangle and rotated it 90 degrees clockwise about the origin? Pretty awesome. Okay, something else I like to do, this is completely optional, but I enjoy it, is I just like to take, this is legitimately just normal like parchment paper I took from my kitchen that you can like when you make cookies, you might put cookies on it, right? So we take this, we like it because look, it's like see-through-y, right? The first thing I like to do is mark my coordinate plane here so I know how far to turn it, right? Then I'm going to mark my original triangle here. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to rotate this triangle 90 degrees so that they line up again clockwise and look at how lovely it matches up awesome okay so that is making me feel very confident that these rules work okay all right there is our rotated triangle thanks